Hi everybody, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. So it's time for Stamping with Denise. Welcome. So glad you could join me. I am going to get started here. Let's give everyone just a second. I'm going to share my video. Let me pull it up here on my computer. I want to share it to my, my personal page so that some of my friends can find it. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I actually had a three-day weekend, so that was nice. It was really funny. I um, I kind of schedule a day off once a month just kind of for a mental health day, you know. And Thursday evening, I got a call from the person who covers for me at work. And she says, you got any info for me for tomorrow? I'm like, what? I had totally forgot that I was off Friday, so it was a very pleasant surprise. So, except, But I had to scramble to get her the information she wanted. But anyway... Okay, um, don't uh, forget, if you like the video, comment, you know, please share it with your friends, comment shared, and I'll give you a chance to work on, or to earn the projects, or to, to win the project I'm working on tonight. If you recall last week, I made these cards. We used the Stamparatus to kind of do a, um, a step, trying to see if I can get it in here you know a, a step to make a background the step technique and we also kind of did a um, hmm, ombre kind of sort of like because this was full this one was full stamped and then we didn't re-ink and we went to this one it was middle and this one here was in the bot you know was the least so um, don't forget to comment shared because if I'm not a Facebook friend of yours, I can't see if you share it or not. And usually every week it'll tell me I have so many shares and I can account for all but two or three. So I still think not everybody's commenting shared. So that's really important if you want to be included. But the winner from the card for last week was Jennifer Davis. So Jennifer, I will get the card out to you. And thank you for sharing my video. And Joan, you won from the week before. Remember we did the press and seal and I don't have your address yet. I sent you a private message. You may not have gotten it if it ended up in, since we're not Facebook friends. So I'd like to send this to you, but um, I need your address, okay? So please send that to me. And let me put that up there for safekeeping. And I have another card to share. One of our stampin' friends, Diana Knapp, who watches frequently, she sent me a nice rack card, R-A-K. If you don't know what rack is, it stands for Random Act of Kindness, and it's just sending someone a card just because, just to be nice. So I appreciated that card when it arrived, it made me smile, so I wanna thank you so much, Diana. Thank you for thinking of me. Okay, so tonight I'm going to show you something a little bit different. We're going to use the trimmer, or you can use if you have the scoreboard. I didn't bring mine over here. I should have. You know, that's the board with the grooves in it to put details in your card, okay? And so I am going to put the phone up in the holder and we will get started. So if you get motion sickness, close your eyes for a second, okay? And we'll be, I'm going to put you right up in the holder and we'll get started. I kind of like this technique. I saw it on, I got to move my cord out of the way now. Um, someone else's blog or something and I thought, I really like that a lot. Um, so I thought I would give it a try and let's see, I want to make sure we're seeing everything. Okay. There we go. Okay. So what we're doing, let me get my, I'll go ahead and pull this out of the way for now. We're using the, um, you know, when you make the lines, the scoring blade, it's not really a blade. 
on our trimmer to put some detail in our card base in our cards so I don't know if you can see it on this card I did it in two different places right here are lot are three little lines and they're just an eighth of an inch apart adds that little detail there this piece of cardstock it was every quarter I believe it's a quarter of an inch let me see yep every quarter of an inch and there's really no measuring it's just kind of whatever you want to do so I used two different ways on here I thought that was kind of cool this one reminds me of our tufted embossing folder that we have um, but it retired and I really liked it but you can do it with the scoring blade on on your um, cutter and then you can see I put a little pearls there to me it kind of looks a little bit like a wedding card and you know what I'm hiding a mistake I made right there I one of those lines is too I think I'm too close to this one so I just put the sentiment right over it and you wouldn't know it unless I told you so I, I was glad to see that because I did like that tufted embossing folder. Now, you know, it's a little tricky doing it on the diagonal, but um, you wouldn't want to do a whole lot of them, but it's a lot of fun. This one here on this Get Well Soon card. Um, actually, let me tell you real quick what we have co for card-wise or color-wise. This is the Magenta Madness. This is one of our new in newest in colors. This is Rococo Rose. This is an in color from last year. This one's Terracotta Tile. It's an in color from last year, and I'm realizing I used in color, so go figure. Anyway, so this one, I don't know if you can see here, it's got these, um, again, score marks, and they're, there's, they're wide, and then there's two close together. They're wide and two close together, and so there an in the bit there's an inch between here and then there is a quarter inch between these lines the sm the smaller ones where they're together i'm hoping you can see them i'm looking on my uh computer they're kind of hard to see and i appreciate that maybe you'll see them better when i take a photo of them and have them up so Oh, and I didn't tell you, on this one here, on the Rococo Rose, these lines, these score lines are three quarters of an inch apart. There's no right, there's no wrong. I could have done those a half inch apart, and there just would have been more in intersections. And then this one, I used the same kind of technique as I did on the, on the Get Well card. This is Pretty Peacock. But instead of being, yep, this one actually, this too is an inch apart, but there's three lines and they're an, an eighth inch apart. So essentially there's an extra line in between, okay? And again, I was just kind of playing with different patterns. But I thought it was a really interesting way. If you don't have a, a lot of tools or embossing folders or something like that, I thought, you know, it'd be a nice way to add some detail to a card. So we're going to work on a card tonight. It's going to be pretty similar to this, but I'm going to do a little bit different pattern. There is no rhyme. I mean, there's no rules. It's whatever you want to do. Um, so there's really no measurements. Um, I'm going to put that right there for now for us to look at. So I'm getting my... Um, cutting... My cutter... Boy, and I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull my my cutting blade out so that I don't accidentally cut something because you know what? I would do that. Okay, we're working with Pretty Peacock again. This piece is three. I mean, I mean, I mean, how big is this one? Actually, this is four by five and a quarter. And I'm starting out big. And we're going to trim it down after we put the score marks on it. And you'll see why. Okay? So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got my scoring blade. And these are going to be a little different. Remember, this one, what, these were an eighth inch apart with a um, 
an inch in between. We're going to do three quarters of an inch. So it's going to be a little bit smaller of a plaid, for lack of a better word. And I got to thinking, of maybe I should have tried to pair it with some plaid paper and see how it comes. And I just kind of start. And like I said, we're going to, we'll trim it down to size once we're done scoring. So for this, I, you know what? I just started at a half inch in, okay? And so I'm just going to go over my line a couple times. And again, these are going to be an eighth inch apart. So you're going to look on your... Um, trimmer there we go and see these these lines here are a quarter inch apart so if it's an eighth you just kind of split the difference so the first one here I started in a half inch and I'm just gonna flip it around now because it'll be easier to go this way there's no measurements it's just distance so if my last score was right here and I want three quarters of an inch um, I'm going to move, there's one quarter, two quarters, three quarters. See, I'm just using these lines, basically. Oops. Let me make sure here. Yep. One, two, three. There we go. And give it a good score, because I have had, I had to go back a couple of times and re-score some lines that weren't really well scored. And then, okay, and there we go. Now we're gonna go three quarters of an inch. There's one quarter, two quarters, and three quarters. Close it down, one, two, three. And then we are gonna go right here. Make sure your paper edge is straight because I'm gonna tell you that your lines will be crooked and you will see it. I was playing around and practicing and I put one, it was like it looked like I had a little too much to drink when I did it. So yeah, it was kind of crooked. So here's one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. going an eighth of an inch and another eighth of an inch okay and that's all for that direction then I'm going to turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing I'm going to start at about a half inch in again I just kind of randomly chose it um, I might have gone three quarters if I was doing the bigger one so I like this trimmer because it has this, what I call negative edge, you know, so that I can go this way. When you're doing real, like when you're cutting really small things, I think I didn't go far enough on that one. I think I messed that one up. Yep, yeah, I did. I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. So we'll probably be cutting that end off. Okay, I'm just gonna flip it around and I'm gonna measure going this way. So, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And then we're gonna go to an eighth of an inch. And another eighth of an inch. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. Easy once you get the hang of it. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. And again, it can be anything you want. Get some scraps of cardstock, some squares. Maybe they're not quite big enough to use for other things. Play around. That's what I did. Okay, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. So we got like that. We have this. Welcome everybody. Thanks for joining me. 
you're joining late, don't forget that if you like what you see, share it, and it might send you the card we're working on tonight. So there we go, short of my little error right down there. And we'll see how we can fix that. Okay, so that's done, but we're not done with the trimmer yet because I have to trim this piece down. I'm going to put my cutting blade back on now. See, it, it's to me it's just easier to take the trimming blade off and then I don't have to worry about it. Let me see, this card base is, oops, it helps if I turn this the right way. This is five by three and three quarters. So let's see, I have to cut from this end down here. Let's see if I do five. Okay, it's still gonna be there. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make it a little bit smaller just to take that mistake off of there. Let's see. How, what do I have to do? Four, well, four and a half. Yeah, four and a half will kind of get it. Yeah, I'm not as happy with it, but you know what? No one's going to know. So, I'm gonna, we're going to try it, and then we're going to do three and uh, a quarter. We'll try that. It's going to be a little smaller, but you know what? I kind of want things even. I don't want this big side on one and this little one over here. So we're going to um, kind of take a little bit off of both sides. The only reason I took so much off of one side down here is because I screwed it up. So what did I say I was going to do? About three and a quarter. So let's go to about there. Take that off. You know, and I found myself like making multiple smaller cuts. Well, that's four and three quarters. You know what? I might leave that. Let me see how that's going to look on my... We're going to put it on here. You know what? I think it's going to be okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to cut the other dimension. It's not exactly the same, you know... Usually you go down like by a, qu a quarter inch on each one, but I didn't on that. So, but that's okay. There's no rules. Um, but that's one reason why I cut it off. I trim it up after I do the scoring so I can kind of get some even evenness. See, like that's what I did. I played with this with an old piece of retired cardstock, and that's exactly what I did was I played with it, and then I trimmed it up so that things were kind of even all the way around. So, okay, then we are going to use the Forever Greenery Designer Series paper for the back, behind this. This this piece has the stripes on one side and this on the other side, and I didn't know which way I wanted it. So that one I did the stripes, this one I'm gonna do more floral. But you know what I did? I do this a lot. I'll cut a piece out of here because you know what? I don't need all that designer series paper back there and I might find another use for that or I could have used it for the behind my sentiment. I don't need it behind my sentiment because I have another piece, but it's like, why not? I might use it for something else. So let me I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. Let me get the glue started. And you know, no one's ever going to see this, okay? You just have to make sure you don't go too far. Oh yeah, this was a little smaller than I had originally planned, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean up a little glue here. Oh, shoot, doggone it. Son of a gun. Let's try this again. I can get that very straight. Let me wipe that glue off. Well, and I can clean that up with my adhesive eraser a little bit later. There we go. Yeah, I can get the rest of that residue off with the adhesive eraser. Best tool ever, adhesive eraser. So see, we're gonna put this down on our card base. This again is pretty peacock. It's gonna go right like that. And no one's ever going to know that piece is missing out of there. So I was just playing yesterday. 
putting all these cards together. I didn't really know what my, what I was going to do. You know, I just start out with a piece of cardstock and go from there. Oh, that's a nice piece. I'll see. What? I'm getting glue all over the place. I'll tell you. I'm not doing very good today. Hang on. If not, we'll go get a, another piece of cardstock. Let's see if I can get that off. It may not come off right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll turn inside out because you know what? I'm going to put a, an insert in it anyway. So it won't make any difference. It'll be covered up. You know you ever have those days? Yep. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. We're going to try this again. There we go. Right there. There we go. So, um, see, now I've got this little piece. I can throw it in the package, and if I need a background or, you know, I could even, you know, and I could even put that on there. What do we say? Should we improvise that? Put that that way? I kind of like that, actually. So I might do so. I might, I was going to, you know, to make the background for the tag, but I might not even do that. Let's, play. Let's go ahead and stamp and see what it looks like. I like to be able to kind of improvise on the go. Okay, I don't think I've shown you all this uh, punch. It's the Lovely Labels Punch, and I really like it because it's got two different shapes. Hopefully you can see it. It's I'm trying to do it without a glare there. And one has got a more rounded end, and one's got more of a flat end. And it has a groove for one inch, three quarter, and half inch paper. So this is three quarters wide. And you know what? I'll do it, show you the difference. I always watch from the back just to make sure I'm in there. But because it's right in my channel, look at that, perfect. Sometimes it, it's better to stamp and then cut, or punch, and sometimes it's better to punch than cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the get the cherished friend again the same one I used here it's out of the lovely used stamp set which is these the punch and the stamp set are a bundle which means you can get them for 10% off I just love the fonts in the the font in this stamp set kind of a nice you know cursive handwriting very pretty um, it's a favorite of mine so I, and I like all these gorgeous phrases so now that we've kind of, well, I guess we could still go. Well, I feel like we should go this way because the flowers go that way now. Um, should we kind of figure out? I guess I'll just stamp it right there and we'll, we'll see what happens. This is design on the fly. Okay, so we're going to stamp this. Pretty close to the end here. There we go. I just seem to do that right. So I had this strip that I was gonna put in the punch. It's one inch wide and, I, and then we were gonna layer it like I did on this one. But I think I might not because it'll get lost on that panel. I think I might just Kind of do it like that. I do have a couple of gold foil pieces here too, which are from that same suite of product. It's it's from the Forever Gold laser cut paper. I've had that out before. Um, I think um, yeah, I'm gonna go kind of like that. Let's see. I'm gonna glue that down. So. Well, let me see. What am I going to do with these? I feel like I want to put this on here a little bit. What do you think? Should I lay them kind of on there? And Yeah. Why not? Everything needs a little bit of bling in some, somehow or another. Okay. Yeah, so you could have used the piece from the center, you know, from here for the back of that. So I just want to kind of center it. Yeah. Did 
There we go. Perfect. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of glue on these and kind of have them down here, I think. I am going to get my little tweezers here to hold this just because. Now my glue is over here. That doesn't make sense. Welcome, everybody. I'm just going to put a little bit of this glue in a couple places to hold it down. like this there we go we'll do the other one too maybe I'll put it like that okay bit on the these little spots here. I'm even going to take a little bit and put it up here. You don't need a lot. I really like the Tumbo Glue. It is an acquired skill. It's not for everybody. Not everybody likes it and that's okay. But put a little bit right down here. Whoops. And there we go. See I really like handling this with my tweezers so then I can um, avoid getting so much glue all over the place. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, we're going to put this here and I think we'll cut it off right about there. Where's my scissors? I have my snips. Let's see, can I get a straight cut? called Design on the Fly here. Here we go. Put a little bit of glue on there. So if you shared my video, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to comment shared so I can put you in the drawing for a chance to win one of these cards. I'll let you choose which one you want. So maybe when you share, you can tell me or I'll send you a message. Okay, very good, so there we are. Um, all just a little bit different, but not, not hard. Just, you know, you gotta be a little patient. And even when you screw up, there's a way to fix it. There you go. So everybody, I wanna thank you so much for joining me tonight. And I hope that I will um, see you next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern for stamping with Denise. Take care now. Bye.